I also really like this part going up and seeing the room that um that Grunty starts in. Um, oh, we auto activate the that cauldron but we don't um auto activate the one um, at the beginning so we do not have a shortcut back but we do not need it because we have all of the notes we are going to need <clears throat> i don't know if there's a 900 note door is that what you need to get the double health um it might be what you need for double health um not that we're going to need it oh there's another black gruntling in here i actually didn't know that um that's very neat and Grunty just talking shit, telling us to go get more Jiggies. But we obviously have them all. We're very, very good. <laughs> That's why she's not in the next game, because of her bloodlust. That's actually a very good point. <clears throat> I don't know if there's a 900 note door. Um, I don't think there is. Yeah, we may just miss out on double health. Um, hello, Dingpot, Dingpot. Cool, max gold feathers. Those will be helpful in the final fight. What will be more? What's going to be the most helpful thing we're going to get right now is going to be the red feather pickup. Because I think we have, uh, I think we're full up on eggs already. But maxing out our feathers is going to be a godsend. Hey, you can get double health with 882 notes. You don't even need all the notes in the game. That's fine. Um, we know where the notes are. We know that it was just a goof. I'm not gonna bother, I'm not gonna go waste, you know, 30 m more minutes of our time. Um, especially because I'm very, very hungry. I noticed when I took that last break I got up, I'm like, oh man, I am stupid hungry. Um, and I'll go ahead and accept the double health, even though, um, I don't think we'll have a problem with Gruntilda. Um, but why not? We can do it, so let's do it. <clears throat> now it's time to go beat her. Dingpot, Dingpot. Um, and you know, we're just gonna skip this text. Dingpot, I don't, I don't really care. Shoot me up there and we'll go beat her. Just go ahead and make my fur dirty and it'll stay dirty until Banjo-Tooie. Or I think it's actually uh, Kazooie who complains that the feathers would be dirty. We did get all the notes in the game, actually. The game is just being weird and um, saying I only got uh, 796 or 896 instead of the full 900 for some reason. It's very strange and weird, but, you know, we, we understand. Sometimes, sometimes games mess up. So here we are. Time to fight Gruntilda. Um, I don't think I'll <clears throat> have a damage free run like I did that one time just because it's been a few years since I played Banjo-Kazooie. And last time I did that, I was very practiced on Banjo-Kazooie. Um, but we'll see how we'll do. I doubt we'll need our double health. Hopefully we won't need our double health. Man, Grunty, your Rough Rider ain't riding so rough anymore, is it? I don't know when she starts getting tricksy with her homing shots. Because, um... Gruntilda is what actually kind of taught me how to avoid uh, uh, projectiles because her, her shots like start super homing in on you. So that's when I kind of learned like, oh, you got to kind of circle straight uh, a little bit to kind of avoid getting hit. So you can kind of freak it out because she's going to try and shoot where you're going to be like in a moment, which if you just continue on the course you're going means you're going to get whacked in the face. <clears throat> so you just got to kind of fake her out a little bit. I'm, go I'm so glad. Oh, I. Well, we're not having a damage free run since I just bumped into her like a moron. Um, we could finish at full health, though, potentially. Spell we can't outrun. Oh, no. Uh, okay, yeah. There's a. Oh, I did not, I did not pull back on the stick fast enough. Uh, let's wait for her to move. Or will she move on her own, or do we need to. Shoot her with some eggs before she'll move. Yeah, you gotta shoot her with eggs before she'll move. I feel no pain. Grunty's ready to fight again. God, I love the rhymes that just make no sense unless you say it with like an English accent. I love, I love those. Those are those. Those are very fun ones. My favorite things are rhymes. Where the rhymes are super, super forced. Like, not to say that the English uh, accent one is, is like, forced. But, like, when you force a rhyme, like, you take two words that absolutely do not rhyme. Oh, she just knocked me off the tower. Wow. Huh. Interesting. That doesn't happen very often. <clears throat> um, but, like, if you were, like, um, I'm trying to think of a good example. Um, uh... uh 
man, I actually can't think of how to, to describe. I was about to say, like, apple, but then you say, like, oh, and apple, and this other fruit. I love graples, but that doesn't actually make much sense. Yeah, rhyming a word with the same word, it's like, dog, what are you doing? You can't rhyme apple with apple. That's ridiculous. <laughs> um, uh, this is tangentially related, but I do appreciate when people rhyme a word with its, uh, a, like a similar word, like, um, like if someone rhymed bear with bear, uh, like different forms of bear. I always appreciate that just because I always find those kind of like, oh, no, that's cute and clever. Um, even if, like, essentially they're just rhyming the word with its itself. Um, always just, those always just make me smile. Um, I may just be thinking of the GMC Faux Show song where he rhymes steak with steak with steak. Um, that one, that, that one makes me smile at the very least. Um, but he also points it out afterwards, like, when's the last time you heard someone rhymes with three different kinds of steak? I can't believe she knocked us off the side of the tower. Um, that like, I mean, it's a, that's a thing that can obviously happen since you have knockback and can't like control yourself once you get thrown into knockback. Um, but it just doesn't happen very often. I can't remember the last time I fell off the tower in this fight. It definitely hasn't happened since childhood. Oh man, she has one more in her. Oops, and I did the same thing. I, I walked into her. I was, about to, I was literally about to say, Maybe we can do this one, uh, da uh, you know, damage-free, but then I walk straight into her like a moron again. That last whack did put my ear, but you can't get me. I assume she said from here, uh, but I did not finish reading what she was saying. Oops, Banjo, no. Banjo, why do you, why must your, your bear paws be so slippery? You gotta get some traction on them, my friend. Yeah, there we go. Now she's saying the thing about being ready to fight again. Let's go ahead and not fall off the tower this time. That should finish her off. There we go. Well, not, obviously not finish her off, because Grunty's still got a lot more heat in her. <coughs> that rhymed X, complex, and rela relax? Did they say, like, relax? Was it, like... Like a like quick rap thing where like in quick succession it works a bit better or do they say relax? Did they, they say complex? Did they say my axe? Like oh yeah I just broke up with my axe don't you know? That um that incidentally became a very piss poor Canadian accent just because I said axe and I was like that sounds like the way a Canadian would say it and then my brain was like it'd be very funny if you did a very poor bad Canadian accent right now because you know. It's not like everyone makes those fucking jokes or anything. It's a very good, original, clever joke I just did for the first time that was on me, and no one's ever done that before. Now use your aerial skills against the old buzzard with this fly pad. What if I don't want to go into the air bo uh, bottles? Maybe, uh, don't tell me what the fuck to do. Does she even have a means of attacking me down here? Does she start throwing magic? I honestly don't remember. It's been a while. Oop, cool. For a second I was worried I was about to blast myself to hell. Um, yeah, she definitely starts throwing magic when we hit her, but... Okay, yeah, she will still throw magic. Uh, we don't want to be flying over the side of the tower, because that could go very badly very quickly. Axes do make great girlfriends. I always appreciate having a sharp girlfriend. I also love a girl that could cut my limbs off. I always feel poignant silence is the best way to follow up on a, on a joke you're not sure if, if, if it'll land or not. Or people will just be like, oh yeah, that's not a great thing to say. <laughs> Your reaction, though, <coughs> um, definitely uh, gave me the, the approval I needed to have said it in the first place. Oop, I just missed her again. Um, I probably should not be trying to hit her from point blank, but I'm very bad at um, landing the beat bomb. I wonder if I can hit her from this far away. Oh, oh, dang, I just barely, like, came out of the animation. Oh, and I just barely couldn't enter the animation. And I just barely missed her hitbox entirely. And we're, we're down to half of the 
The, what happens if you run out of feathers in this? Uh, I assume if you run out of uh, a pickup in this mode, you just have to repeat, uh, or you have to uh, die and repeat it again. I don't think the game has any means of giving you more pickups. Like, obviously there's a few, uh, but I don't think they'll re regenerate over time or anything. There we go, we finally hit her. Uh, so we just need to hit her one more time, we'll be good. Unfortunately for me, that, that last hit's gonna take a while. Even though she conveniently stops for you, but of course, you know, I'm never looking at her when she decides to stop. There we go, luckily I was able to hit her point blank though. She snorts more out her nose. Oh, I was about to beak bomb her again, but it's time for shield. So I think it's time to land. I think I took damage, right? Yeah, I've taken damage. Let's go ahead and fill up her health. Because maybe we can finish the fight at full health, even if we, uh... It's a... Other one? When does Grunty have stuff come out her nose? I don't I don't remember that. Is that a nuts and bolts thing? It might be nuts and bolts since she's just a head. Or that could be a drug joke that I don't get. That could be a drug joke that I didn't immediately understand. Or maybe she does something with her nose in Grunty's Revenge and I just... <laughs> the Jinjo Ex Machina. And uh, we will not be finishing this at full health. What do you know? Um, who would have thunk it? Roll, Banjo! You gotta dodge! Do your dodge roll, Banjo! And play the game like Dark Souls and just use use the roll as your only mean of getting out of the way of, uh, of enemies' attacks. Actually, it's a pretty solid way to avoid her hits. I think that was the last one. Uh, oops. Yeah, it's the last one. Jango, we're good. I don't think there's any more um, honeycombs left to get, so we definitely won't be finishing the fight at full health. But at least we... Uh, We'll have always been, uh, we'll never have gone out of the red, which means we could have beaten her without our half health, which just makes me feel better about myself, I guess. I mean, it all just makes me feel better about myself at the end of the day. Um, even just beating the game, like, you know, my life will continue even if I don't beat the game. I won't just mysteriously die if I fail to finish Banjo-Kazooie at any given point in time. I always hated that her attacks go through the, um, the statue here. I kind of wish that the, um... The statue blocked hits from the back, um, especially since like most of your hits are, or most of the things you have to fill, the statue will not block. So it would, um, I feel like, not add too much difficulty to allow the statue to block it. The reason why um, I, I realized that mid talking that the statue doesn't block it is just because then they would have to program like collision for her spells, and her spells obviously just. Fly free, fly strong, fly true, and she's gonna hit me now. Oh, there we go. Fight over. Cool, cool, cool. We're done. We're good. We never went below the red. Nice, nice, nice. How long is this thing? About five hours? Oh, yeah, we're, we're just two minutes away from the five hour mark. And we are done. We've done everything in the game. Gotten all the jiggies, gotten all the notes, except for these four. But we did, we knew where those four were. We were good. Got all the health, we beat the game. Fun, fun times in Bear and Birdland. Good gam indeed. <laughs> Two out of seven. This is my favorite gam. And it's so weird to think about. Um, sorry, I have to again. <laughs> Not recommended. Game of the year. <laughs> um, it's so funny to think that this game, like. At one point, had like a weird bit, like with Gruntilda, like that spell hitting and transforming you, and there being more stuff past this. Uh, that's weird to think about. I'm glad that it wraps up as simply as it does, and doesn't try to have some weird plot stuff coming at the end for no real good reason or anything. That's very good that they don't do that. It'd be so weird if they did that. And then the wish gets squished. Which both sounds good to say, and you know, Wizard of Oz, etc., etc. All good in the hood. Yeah, the frog thing, it'd, it'd probably just be a bit weird at the end. Unless it was supposed to be like a sequel hook, but from what I understand, it was supposed to be like 
more stuff. And I feel like this game, it, this game's fine. It's nice, it's simple. It's just like a little Saturday morning cartoon of a video game, and it's enjoyable. And now we get to come to the beach, and we get to see a Jinjo who will go and become lost from his family, and we'll have to find him in the sequel. Um, a lady will walk by, and there'll be a joke with her carrying melons, because ladies have round things on their chests, which are uh, sometimes referred to as melons. So it's, it's a joke about those those things. And Mumbo's hiding up in the tree like some weirdo. It's all good. It's fine, it's good, and everybody's happy. Man, I can go for some watermelon right now. Watermelon feels super good on my throat. <coughs> yep, you absolutely get to relax. Can you talk a little bit faster, Tui? Or Tootie. I always call Tootie Tui after Banjo uh, Tui. When Banjo Tui was first released, or, or was first announced, and I saw the name, um, I was so worried, like, Wait, they're gonna get rid of Kazooie and now we're gonna have Tui in our bag? But that doesn't make sense at all! Because I forgot her name was Tootie and I thought her name was Tui. I was so worried that Tui would now be part of it. And then at some point I was like, what if it's the three of them? I wonder how that'll work, having three, having Banjo, Kazooie, and Tootie. But obviously, you know, I thought it was Tui. Oh, this is when we get the enemy parade. Poor Klungo, what the hell were you even doing in this first game? I mean, I'm glad that you were ultimately in the series. Topper. I forgot Topper's name. I can always rem remember Collywobble's name because it's ridiculous. Your name's like Root Ball. Uh, I absolutely would have never remembered that. <coughs> Milk carton exclusive content. Absolutely. The broken picture. Um, quarry? Uh, I assume you mean uh, that the emulator's not going to be able to handle... Um, Mumbo's little surprise. Ticker? Yep, you are absolutely Ticker. Oh man, you guys are gonna get to learn the racist Ice Cube name since I said it once and then never said it again. Big Butt the Bull! Unless... Unless I faked you out and the second I saw the Ice Cube, I put the Please Wait thing over <laughs> over the screen until it went away. Um, but I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that at all. Leaky! You're not an enemy. What are you doing here? You should've been in the friend one. Lockup. I love Lockup. Lockup's a good name for, for a treasure chest enemy. A little Lockup with his messed up uh, polygon. Or his one triangle, I guess. It's not an entire polygon. His one triangle that won't render correctly. Yum yum. Uh, Kanga is a friend. Uh, I guess the other ones like named characters who talk uh, would be more uh, accurate. But Kanga is our friend. He goes on to run Witchy World. And he lets us in, and we're able to have fun. Um, and the big top, we get to see Mr. Patch and his song rules. Um, but man, I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, he was just throwing oranges at us, giving us our supply of vitamin C, whether we want it or not. Yeah, glo <coughs> gloop in his stupid bubbles. Oh my god, it did it right then, too! Oh my god, the transparency on the bubble just screws up the thing. It happened in the thing. That was awesome um, that it does that. Yeah, Leaky, Leaky talks. He should have been in the first one. I don't know why he's over here. There must not be much rhyme or reason why they're over here. Whiplash. So these are Whiplash. Like, I think you said that in the thing earlier. It's just been a while since we were... It was the beginning of the stream. Um, uh, so the, the thorny ones must be whip cracks. Flip it. Yeah, there's no... The, the rhyme and reason between uh, the two... Um, uh, Enemy or uh, name reels are a bit weird. <laughs> Leaky was the secret super boss. I can believe that. I won. I one hundred percent support that. Oh my god, the kid, the kids have names in this version. That's insane. Okay, so you got Groggy, Soggy. Is this is this canon in the sequel? Do they still call him Groggy, Soggy, and Moggy? Because out of those, like. Maki's the only one that I would assume would be a feminine fem, feminine name out of those. Um, God, I'm not actually gonna look that up while this is happening. Do they keep those names to the sequel? Groggy, Soggy. <laughs> Leaky's Leaky's the fucking Sephiroth of the game. That'd be awesome. Sir Slush, that's what they were called.
And um, the racist ice cube came on screen while I was not looking. So, whoops! Can't even do the can't even do the goof of no of of not letting you guys see its name. Oh yeah, they keep their names in the, in the sequel, huh? Yeah, it went, it went by unmentioned until I mentioned it, of course. Um, okay, so so Groggy's big boy, and I'm guessing Moggy's the girl, just because that's the most feminine of the names. Soggy. Oh no, Soggy's the girl. What an awful name. Huh. So that means Moggy's Moggy's the shitty um, gamer kid. You know, the one who's like, I want to play, I want to play bumper cars forever, and then you gotta hit him, and then his mother's like, thank you for hitting my child. I appreciate you for hitting my child. Oh, but there it is. Another run of Portrait Champa. That's what they're called. That makes sense, since the Grill Champas weren't made out of grills, so it wouldn't make much sense to call them Bone Champas. <laughs> yeah, Limbo was the skeleton. That doesn't make a lot of sense. The skeletons love the Limbo. And of course, those are called Rippers. Named after Grunty's dog, as we've learned, at least in this playthrough. And... and Statistically, one third of Banjo Kazooie playthroughs, um, they will be named after Grunty's dog. Uh, yeah, the Slowpoke's name was Toots, apparently. A very strange name, but I guess because he had a little snoot, a little snoot that gives a little toot toots. So I guess they named him Toots. Grimlet. I always forget these guys' names just because they're such a strange enemy, and like Grimlet doesn't mean anything to me. Flotsam, that's what I was trying to think of. I wanted to call him something like that, because I could just call him a flotation device. But, like, flotsams are, like, uh, like dolphins, I believe. Um, chump, that's a good one. Um, I think flotsam has something to do with dolphins, so I'm just going to look that up right now. Because <clears throat> when, I, when I hear flotsam, I think dolphin. What? Big clucker. Big Mother Clucker, of course. Oh, Flotsam! The wreckage of a ship or its cargo floating around. Maybe Flotsam was the name of, like, a... A, um... Uh, a dolphin character in, like, a... A thing I watched as a kid or something. Yeah, Whip Crack. There we go. That's also a very, very fair point. Dolphins always makes me think of GameCube. We have a, uh, like a, a, a working code name for the thing I work on at work, and every time someone says it, I think of Dolphin. Just because that's the, the first code name for a project I think of off the top of my head. <coughs> yep, walk on by, lady. We have some important broken picture business to attend to. Yes, let's see your secret pictures. Bone brain? His brain's not made out of bones. Only his face is, Kazooie. How rude of you. Banjo Karuti, more like it, am I right? Lady, because Kazooie is the lady. Oh man, I just had like other end flashbacks because that yikes. Um, yep, see the pictures. Skirt boy, that one's just rude. Why is Kazooie always gotta be so rude? Just be nice. Be nice like Banjo, like, see, Mr. Mumbo, even though, realistically... Mask Midget? He's as tall as Banjo! He's bigger than you, idiot! You're just throwing out insults just to insult him now. Oh, I guess they say Banjo Tooie at the end of this, so I was probably thinking about it since then. <laughs> Stop and... Yeah, that's very true. Stop and wait, like, several years. Like, how long did it take them? They didn't do it until, um... It was released on um, Pedro Kazooie Tooie. Yeah, see, this must have been what scared me, because they say this stuff, and then they probably have like a little jab at each other. So I was like, oh no, no more Kazooie. Um, but yeah, they didn't use it until. Oh my god, is it just gonna be white? Oh no, it, oh, okay, it's gonna work. That's very interesting. I wasn't expecting it to work. It's having emulation issues, obviously. Um, <coughs> Her, her, Mumbo not telling. Well, but yeah, that's working for the most part. Most of it's working. I wonder if that's just... You know what that probably is? It's probably like a triangle on the, um... On the, uh, picture that's not rendering correctly. Um, even though you would just, just probably assume that the rectangle is two triangles, since that's the would be the easiest way to make a rectangle, but maybe it's 
comprised out of more rectangles for some, like, purpose that make it bounce. Or the way Mumbo's moving it, maybe? I don't know. Just guessing. Oh, really? That's disappointing to know, because it was like, oh, at least Stop and Swap finally does something, but... <laughs> To know it does something and it's crap, that's very disappointing. <coughs> oh, that's very points. <laughs> shop and stop. Or, or, yeah, shop and go. Stop and swap. Stop and swap. Shop. Shop. Stop and swap. Stop and shop. Shop and swap. That's what it should be. Damn it. Why did I, I have to play with that like a million different ways to get that? I'm an idiot. And the stupid ice key that you just kind of find in Tui. It's so weird. I do like what the ice key does in Tui, though. Oh, this one doesn't work at all. That's very funny. <laughs> nice. Got him. It's only another white screen. God, how do they expect people to figure this out? Because I think, I think people ultimately cracked Stop and Swap, like by hacking the game and figuring it out. Um, I believe. Like, how are you supposed to know? Like, uh, like first off, like, oh, I should go type random cheat codes into the uh, into the sandcastle. On top of it, like to type stuff like. Banjo bags for plenty of eggs. Like, I think, um, Cheeto tells you that one. That's just how I'm playing with my sock. Um, like, how are you supposed to guess, like, Big Rock Rise! Yes! 94%! Dollar sign. Ampersand? You'll be back for your rematch. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a very good point that, that the answers were supposed to be in Tui. I think I've read about them before. I like seeing the uh, Spiral Mountain at night. I wish we got to see it at night but more often. It's nice. Um, but there it is. That's Banjo Kazooie. Still my favorite game. Love, just love this, this stupid idiot cartoon game. It's so much fun. Um, I hope you had so much fun. Because I certainly did. Um, we'll probably uh be putting this out on YouTube soon. We'll go edit it and have it up. Excuse me, hopefully quicker than it took me to get the um, other one out. And then once all the YouTube parts are up, we'll, um, you know, uh, I'll make a full version of the stream and upload that. Um, actually, I'm going to stop.